This morning, as New Hampshire mourns a sudden death of House Speaker Dick Hinch to COVID-19, a plea from the state's governor to take the coronavirus seriously. This virus really doesn't care if you're in a long-term care facility or if you're an elected official. Um, uh, no one is immune. It is unfortunately a tragic and cautionary tale. Hinch died Wednesday, a week after being sworn in as leader of New Hampshire's Republican-led House. According to the Associated Press, more than a quarter of House members, mostly Democrats, skipped that outdoor ceremony when they learned several Republican lawmakers tested positive for the virus after attending an indoor meeting November 20th. The source of Hinch's infection is still under investigation. The 71-year-old's death comes at a time when statewide cases are reaching new highs, leaving members of his own party divided on health guidelines. Representative William Marsh tweeting, those in our caucus who refuse to take precautions are responsible for Dick Hinch's death. Representative Josh Yokella responding, what are you even talking about? You think he got COVID outside sitting in the mass section? On MSNBC Friday, Governor Chris Sununu criticized those politicizing safety during a pandemic. We're not tearing up the Constitution when we ask folks to... You know, be, be safe, smart, and socially distance. In a letter to the governor, Democratic leaders in New Hampshire wrote, no one in any job should have to fear for their health at work, adding that testing be made available to all legislators who attended the swearing-in last week. This morning, growing concerns and more members could have been exposed as they prepare to say goodbye to one of their own. And during his swearing in, Hinch asked all members to come together and consider each other as friends and colleagues, especially right now in the middle of a pandemic. The House reconvenes January 6th to select a new speaker. Mm. Kristen? All right, Kathy Park, thank you for that.